welcome to the new series of Slack Pro video blogs, which we're starting today. My name is Andy Riedrich, and I am the owner and the founder of Slack Pro and the inventor of the line grip. I'm double excited about this very first episode because what I'd like to show you today is truly worthy of a premiere. It's the newest member in the Slack Pro product line, the line coil. Now, this device is basically a webbing clamp, just as our well-known and established line grip. It grabs the webbing and holds onto it reliably so that you can exert pulling force, thus tension or detension your slack line. Let me show you some details about the line coil. As I mentioned, the uh, function as a webbing clamp is the same as a line grip, but uh, the technology is different. And as for the line grip, Slack Pro also has a patent on this uh, new line coil technology. The line grip works um, by means of lever action. The line coil, on the other hand, uh, works by wrapping a rope around an object uh, and pulling the coils tight to create pressure, as demonstrated here in this uh, conceivably simplest model of the line coil technology. This is in a way comparable to a Prusik knot used for ropes, only that we have two specially designed um, clamping modules that guide the rope um, and transfer the pulling and the clamping force to both surfaces of the clamped flat webbing. So uh, here I have a handmade carbon fiber prototype. Uh, the line coil will be manufactured from aluminum 7075 or fiber reinforced plastic. It features mm, unique rope guiding uh, elements such as these um, organic shaped um, uh, channels and uh, the massive diverters um, that bear a great deal of the load. All of these features ensure the least friction uh, and stress on the rope um, as they correspond to uh, the natural rope flow. Um, th that's the position into which the rope eventually would arrange itself. The diverters are equipped with rope retainers uh, that prevent the rope from coming off unintentionally when the line coil is on the slack line, but not yet loaded. So um, no matter how much I shake, the rope stays in the guide. Um, to remove the rope, simply pull it backwards and up. Okay, let's uncoil this. The line coil consists of uh, two identical organically shaped uh, clamping modules, which feature the line grip specific uh, mounting bracket um, to house the well-proven um, line grip rubber coating, uh, which is, by the way, the only coating that is mechanically tough enough, um, adequately sticky, and most of all, temperature stable. Uh, to be capable of uh, taking the enormous strain of long line tensioning reliably without damaging the webbing, of course. Um, you can't just take any old piece of rubber uh, or climbing shoe soles, as some might think. Um, this will all slip and smear at 25 to 30 degrees and upwards, or possibly even before. Um, it took us almost a year and 26 attempts uh, to get the rubber compound to where it is now. Um, another feature um, are these uh, alignment ears. They prevent um, misalignment uh, of the clamping modules and also guard against um, damage um, to the Dyneema rope coils, which I will come back to later. The line coil will be equipped with a 6mm Lyros D-Pro um, Dyneema rope, um, which is really soft and flexible. Uh, it's ultra tough and uh, super slippery because it consists of 100% Dyneema. This 
ensures the uh, least possible friction um, when the coils close in on the clamping modules, which gives us the best clamping efficiency achievable. The 6 mm rope has uh, a breaking strength of, of 43 kN in single strand, which gives it a whopping uh, 85 kN in this configuration here. That's 19,000 pounds, by the way. Now that uh, should be enough overhead to even let it fray heavily um, before getting uncomfortable with it and having to exchange it. In order to extend the rope life, um, it will be protected with a braided polyester uh, sheath at the most stressed spot right here at the bend where uh, the tensioning systems will be attached. Just as uh, the rubber coating, the rope can also be easily replaced by the user. It's attached to the modules by a stopper nut, which is then pushed into this nut housing. Um, the number of coils you need um, depends on the load you will apply in uh, the following tensioning system. Uh, say we will pull with uh, up to 7 kN. Um, it will be sufficient uh, to just give it 2 to 3 reps, like so. Um, now fan out the coils a bit and you're ready to pull. As soon as you load the loop, the modules are pressed together and the line coil locks uh, to the webbing. As you pull, the coils close tighter, which um, presses the modules more firmly together and this increases locking effect. Uh, so um, more pull is more pressure and thus uh, more holding power. And uh, notice that the line coil does not twist as one might expect uh, due to the rope being wrapped around in one direction. This, um, this is because the diverters guide the coil motion into an axial direction. This makes the line coil stay in the exact orientation of the pulling loop without putting any twist motion on your slack line. Uh, once a line coil with a few wraps is unloaded, uh, a simple push on the loop will loosen the coils enough to relieve pressure and let you move it on the line. Applying load will immediately lock it on the webbing again. Now there is a uh, single side threading method too for special applications. Um, more about this um, in another blog though. Now when applying maximum uh, safe working load of 15 kilonewtons or possibly 18 uh, kilonewtons, we don't know yet. Um, it's important to wrap all the coils. Um, this will ensure that enough pressure force is created to reliably prevent slipping under any circumstances. Also, uh, this is the only configuration where the load is held by all three uh, load-bearing elements. Um, the diverters, uh, the knot housings, and the front um, rope guides. To relieve pressure and move the unloaded device in this configuration, uh, the coils simply need to be loosened by grabbing them with one hand and uh, turning them counterclockwise, like so. Um, this lets you move it freely on uh, the line. The slightest load on the loop will again immediately lock it to the webbing. As you might have noticed, uh, the line coil has a slightly higher profile uh, than its width, which enhances the pressure between the rubber coatings even more. Um, as mentioned, uh, the alignment ears um, also help protect the rope coils from getting abraded by uh, 
the edges of the webbing when moving the device on the slack line. As you can see here, I'll try to show. They ensure that the slack line is nicely centered uh, between the modules and thus um, does not touch uh, the rope coils. And inversely, of course, nothing except the gentle rubber coatings uh, is touching the precious slack line at any time. I'll try to show you here. Now we're still in the course of um, optimizing the line coil, so there's going to be a few minor adaptations and changes in the next weeks. But overall, this is what it's going to look and feel like. Grab the coils, turn counterclockwise, and move. So slick. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions about any of our products, um, don't hesitate to contact us by phone, email, Facebook, or whatever. We'll try to answer all your questions. We got lots more exciting stuff coming up in the next few weeks, so remember to stay tuned.